Hey guys, welcome back. As you all know, the metaverse and gaming sector has been doing incredibly well the past week because of the Facebook rebranding name, Microsoft getting into the metaverse, Nike as well. So all these big brands, they are all getting into the metaverse. And gaming will be a huge aspect of the metaverse. So in this video, I want to share with you guys what to look for in gaming coins and how to find them early. Stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, I'll be giving you guys pointers to take note when you are researching a gaming project. And at the end, I'll share my final thoughts and projects that I'm looking to get into. So I'll try to keep this video short, hopefully below 10 minutes. So yeah, you guys know that I want to be straight to the point. So let's just get going. So my first pointer when looking into a game is, is there gameplay? In the real world, when we are looking to get a new game to play, of course we will want to see a gameplay before we buy it, right? So same thing for crypto gaming. We would definitely love to see a gameplay first before we decide to get the native coin itself. So that's logical, right? And people will stay for the game if it is fun and if there is good gameplay. So if the game is, you know, repetitive and boring, they would naturally dump the token. I'll give you an example. One of it is called ANRX. It's one of the coins that I found months ago and it has already a working game, but it is so repetitive. I'll just show you guys the gameplay of ANRX, which is an example of a game that is repetitive. So basically you're just moving this spaceship, moving up and down, and you're just supposed to shoot the, the bots, but the pattern is so repetitive. Like I can predict where the robots are going to go. So it's really, really boring. So that's just an example of a repetitive game. So in the short run, the game might do well, but in the long run, it's a no go. So yeah, guys, just look out for games that already have gameplays and trailers. So this is just one example of uh, a game that already has a gameplay and the, the coin is not even out. So this is a very good sign that the game would do well, okay? So I already shared this in the previous video, so I will, I will just stop here. The next thing you want to find in the game is, are there gaming assets? So mainly, are there NFTs to be earned? Like characters, special items, equipable assets? So what I mean is, are there weapons to be earned? Like swords, guns, can it be equipped? Is there equipable armor to, to earn? Vehicles to drive around? Or are there pets? Like dragons that you can ride around. These are all very interesting concepts which draws the gamers, you know? And with all this, it will definitely interest way more people. And lastly, is there virtual land to be earned? This is actually a very profitable way of earning money. Usually these lands would sell for high prices. As you can see in Sandbox and Decentraland, their land has been sold for thousands of dollars, which is very insane. So if there are virtual land to be sold in the game, and if the game goes well, the land will go for definitely very high prices. The next thing you want to know is about the team. Is the team doxxed? Do they show their faces, their LinkedIn profiles, and what are their backgrounds? What's the background of the founders, the game designer, or the artist? Are they previously from big companies, big software companies, big game companies like Epic Games, etc.? And are there any big brands or companies backing them as well? So one example I'll show you guys is called Big Time and they, have, they do not have a working game yet 
but they already have huge investors and the team is extremely, extremely talented. Just look at the team for big time. Their background is crazy. The CEO was a co-founder of Decentraland. Their CPO was a pioneer for social games at EA. CTO from Fortnite, Gears of War, Medal of Honor. Their art director also from God of War, World of Warcraft. The principal engineer, Fortnite, Gears of War. Lead artist also from Fortnite, Gears of War. Their lead level designer was from Call of Duty, Medal of Honor. Writer was from Overwatch. And look, concept artist, League of Legends, Sky, Children of the Light. Their team is stacked, all from huge companies and huge games. So you guys know that this game is definitely going to do super well. Okay, so marketing is also a very huge aspect of reaching out to many, many people, right? So you want to know if their marketing team is strong. Do they have strong backers? And to look at their and we also want to look at their Twitter, Discord, and Telegram members. How many members do they have? How much engagement do they have? Okay? These are important. Okay, the next question you want to be asking is how is the game going to make players stay? So one good example would be RuneScape. It has been played for many, many years and there were many, many players. So how did they do it? So what did they do? Their gameplay was actually pretty simple. They created this cycle that addicts a player. And so this player would want to keep fighting, keep leveling up, keep buying items to get stronger and stronger. So just for example, what RuneScape does, okay? So usually what RuneScape does is you get to kill a monster, you can mine things, and then you earn these in-game coins. And you also level up when doing all these quests, all this killing. And with this money, you can buy new items and also upgrade your gear, your armor, your weapons, your pets. Okay, so this is a cycle that keeps people in the game, making it addicting for the player. So look out for games that have these kinds of, this kind of cycle. Mainly, you're fighting something, you earn coins because of that, and then you level up. And then you can buy better items and then the cycle repeats so you want to be looking for this type of gameplay moving on to the art and the design so usually people would look at the aesthetics first before buying into a gaming project and so this is very very important usually the art would basically reflect on the game itself and the team should be very transparent to their players and also show their art pieces even if it isn't the final product so show their show their sketches their prototypes etc okay and the last point i want to have is the art should be original this is very important most of these crypto games those newer crypto games they have art and trailers that were bought off from Unity Asset Stores. So let me give you an example. Remember I told you guys that if a game has a gameplay or trailer, it is a good sign, right? But do be very careful. Some of these, some of these game trailers are being bought off from these asset stores. So this is just an example. This is from the Unity Asset Store. And you know, this trailer looks pretty cool, right? looks really dope but if games publish this they're just tricking you guys okay just be very careful these are not their their trailers these are being bought off from these sites okay moving on to the roadmap we want to see clear timelines of when they are going to finish a particular aspect of their game so the game does not have to be complete because you know Really good games uh, take years to build and perfect it. So example of a roadmap timeline, let's say by Q1 of 2022, the beta game could be played and could be trout. And all these should be achievable goals. 
Okay, this is a pretty important aspect of the game as well. Accessibility. So can it be played on mobile and also the web browser? And if their game can be actually played on the mobile, it's actually a, a game changer. This is very important. If it could be played on a mobile phone, it can reach out to way more players. So for example, Axie Infinity, already the leading crypto game, it has 1.9 million active players. Why? Because they can be played on mobile as well. If the crypto game can be played on mobile and also on web browsers, that is a very good sign that the game will do extremely, extremely well because they can draw way more people. Now that I've covered what to look for in a game, how to find these games. So starting, the most important point is you have to make connections. Doesn't matter where, the most popular areas to make connections is Discord groups, discussing about gaming projects, Twitter, following gaming experts, okay? And you also got to follow the smart money. Follow what Animoca brands are investing. Animoca brands is a crypto gaming company which invests in good games and also follow Yatsu, the founder of Animoca. We want to know what's he looking for, what's the next project he's looking at. YGG, Yu Gi Oh Games, and also gaming influencers. Gaming experts like Alex Becker, Elio Trades, these are the two YouTubers that I actually watch regularly as well to gain more info. And another place where you can get these games are IGO Launchpads. IGO stands for in-game offerings, basically similar to ICOs, coin offerings, where you can get them at a low price before they launch. These launch pads consist of uh, CDFi, Poker Foundry, Game Starter, but usually these launch pads uh, requires you to have a huge holding of their coins before they allow you to invest in their IGOs. So I myself don't invest in these launch pads because you know I'm poor. Yeah, straight up, I'm poor. Okay, and there's this one website that I use to find actually new games that are coming up and which are hot. And this website is called playtoearn.net. So this is how playtoearn.net looks like. Go it down, you can see all the games that are popular right now. Show you the top 50 and you can filter them out depending on what blockchains. Do you want to see the, the games that have NFTs, free to play or play to earn, etc. Lastly, I want to share with you guys the new games I'm looking to get into. These actually have been covered by a few influencers already. But yeah, these few games are actually going to be extremely good games and they'll do extremely well, I'm pretty sure. So I won't go through in depth for each each individual game because this, this video is getting a bit long already. I just want to keep it short. So yeah, big time. Phantom Galaxies, I already covered this a few videos ago. Cryo War, Guild of Guardians, they're going to have their IDO sale. Sign up on CoinList. And lastly, Monkey Ball, which should be, I don't know when they're launching, soon I guess. And the coins that are already out, I want to share with you guys as well. Some that I'm looking at, or some I'm already in already. First one is Knight. I already have a position. I already mentioned this on Twitter as well. So yeah, guys, do follow me on Twitter because I share on Twitter first before YouTube, okay? Tech, I already have a position uh, a month ago already. BZN, I already have a position, also shared on Twitter. I already entered at 11 cents and it went up to about 30 cents in just one day. Yeah, crazy stuff. I'm still holding it. PKR, Poker, I already have a position at 11 cents, currently at about 20 cents, so a 2x still holding. Okay, so these coins I'm looking to get into, which I'm I'm interested in investing, waiting for a dip. So yeah, so just do your own research. Naka, Revo, 
PYR. Okay, PYR. This is a coin that I've I've known for quite a while actually. It's the Vulcan Vulched. I've seen it at three dollars, and it went up as high as about twenty something dollars. I'm pretty salty, but yeah, I should have gotten in like months ago. But I'm just waiting for a huge dip to get into. But if there are no huge dip, it's okay. I'll find another coin. And guys, and guys, this is also very important. Okay, please do not FOMO in when the price is surging up, like right now for let's say Poker City, right? I know a lot of people are are jumping in into this coin because it has been talked a lot on YouTube and Twitter, and and it has been surging. It went up like ten x in just a few days. Okay. But do not get caught in the FOMO. Do not buy at these areas. You want to be investing these gaming coins when it's in the lows, these accumulation zones. Okay, when it's not being talked about, this is the point where you want to invest in. Same for the upcoming games. Ideal games usually have this pump and dump. So do not buy in at the start. You usually pump and then dump in. Minutes or hours, so you only want to invest in these new games when they have done, when their private investors have taken profit, everything. When people are scared to buy in here, you will be the one to buy in at these points of time, and just hold if you have conviction in the game. Eventually, they'll go for these kinds of runs. So be patient, invest in the lows, don't chase the pumps. Just want to put it out there. Forever, I said this. Not financial advice. Do your own research. Just advising you. Just an advice. So that's it for me. Hope you take away something from this video. I tried to keep it under ten minutes, but I'm. I think it's longer than that. But yeah. Anyway, I mainly post a video on Mondays, eight forty-five a.m. Eastern, and sometimes Friday, same time as well. This video is a random timing. I just decided to do it because. The metaverse hype is here, and gaming will definitely do well in this quarter. Do follow me on Twitter as I post what I'm getting into and news on the go first on Twitter before uploading on YouTube. So if you like this video, please hit the like button if you haven't already. If you want early calls on coins and more tips, click on the notification bell. As always, invest safe and smart. The markets are always here, but your capital may not. Peace. Thank you.